Here's a case of a ruptured Baker cyst, and this case is a great example of how the ultrasound can give you important information right then and there in the office, and I was not nearly as worried about her DVT after doing her ultrasound. This is a 69-year-old female here complaining of pain in the right knee slash calf going on for about three weeks. She had x-rays done at the ER which didn't show any acute pathology, however there was no report of an ultrasound done in the ER. Here's a sagittal view of her right knee in the popliteal pasta as well as an axial view and we can see a fairly sizable Baker cyst. Here's an actual comparison view of her medial gastrocnemius muscle of her right compared to her left. And you can see that it's much darker on the right side, and that's consistent with fluid extravasation within the muscle, and that fluid came from a ruptured Baker cyst. This basically made the likelihood of a DVT much less likely for her, and we treated her in the office by aspirating the Baker cyst, and she did much better afterwards. Here again, here's our sagittal view. and we can again see some fluid extravasation within the medial gastrocnemius muscle. And here we are um, in the sagittal view of the Baker cyst. We're going in with a needle now and essentially draining the Baker cyst. We basically drain it from the distal pole. And here's a post aspiration MRI, and the Baker cyst came back, which unfortunately happens quite often, but you can see how some of that fluid basically extravasated distally from the Baker cyst. This is a case where ultrasound can really help you right then and there in the office to differentiate whether this is symptoms simply from a ruptured vagus cyst versus an actual DVT.